What's going on everybody? Jade up here. Today's video is going to be over uh, necro tanking. Is it going to replace main tanks or off tanks and trials? Uh, I don't think so. Um, after reviewing it quite a bit, um, I've started looking at a lot of the passes and looking at what actual buffs and debuffs that it can do to the group and seeing if that outweighs what support we have at the moment. As far as main tanks, I don't really see it taking the spot of a DK. The reason why is the minor brutality. It's really nice to have that in your group. So DK tanks will more than likely always be in your group as a tank. One, because they don't do enough damage. Stamina DKs don't do enough damage. So, <clears throat> so of course, you're going to be messing out there. Uh, also, the 10% more damage to flame abilities from engulfing flames you know that that's a that's just from the dk alone i just don't see them taking away a dk as a main tank and replacing it with a necro that literally only does maybe minor minor vulnerability and major vulnerability here or there so i think i think that's not going to happen and and i also think that major major vulnerability i think that's going to be better um served as a dps role and place those bad boys and then still be able to get the minor force that you get from warhorn now again keep in mind that i'm talking in a, in a sense of you know pushing for you know score and and doing those such of things now if you're part of a guild that you know hey bring whatever you want to bring or hey we're going to be kind of somewhat sweaty but you know bring what you want but just make sure that you don't die type of thing uh, I mean, <clears throat> those are two different, uh, those are two, those are way different than what I, the type of things that I run in, in the guild. Um, the type of guild I run with is, is very sweaty, they, they want to min-max everything and do all this and stuff. I don't mind min-maxing and I don't mind not min-maxing. I like tanking on different, I like, I like tanking on every class. Uh, and, and, and such, but I just don't feel that uh, that, that Necro is going to hold that spot as a main tank at least. As an off tank, do I think it's going to hold that spot? I just don't see it taking the spot of uh, a Warden uh, because the off tank spot is pretty much held in place by either a Warden um, or a Nightblade tank. And here's the reason why. Warden tanks give minor toughness, uh, and the um, Nightblade tanks give minor savagery. So I just don't see a Necro tank taking that spot either for that reason. Because it's it's nice to get those from a class uh, to and for the group, and it lasts 20 seconds. So it's it's absolutely huge. It's a huge buff. Now, I don't think I see Necro Tankings taking a healer spot at the moment. Uh, we did have uh, a Necro Healer on PTS, and we did, I think we did fab with one on live server. I think I, yeah, we did have one actually on this group right now. Um, Hockey is, uh, she was a Necro Healer, and she did really well. Um, I I don't really see it taking the spot of a necro healer. Uh, I don't think I don't think that they'll take a spot. I think that they I think that they could take the spot if they wanted to because they're going to have three synergies that they can give to the tanks. And what they are is the boneyard from the grave lord um, abilities. It's the uh, third one down. Uh, basically, what it does is it's. Uh, um, desecrates the ground at the target location, dealing X amount of frost damage over 10 seconds. Consumes a corpse on cast to deal 20% more damage. You or an ally standing in the graveyard can activate the Grave Robber synergy, dealing X amount of frost damage to enemies in the area and healing you for the damage done. So again, activating the synergy. 
that's one. Of course, if you're a healer, you're going to have energy orbs. And if you guys don't know what energy orbs are, you might want to. Energy orbs are the big yellow orbs that are floating across the screen. Um, pretty much any time in my stream or when I'm in a raid, or even right now, you'll see a few energy orbs go by, quite a few. Basically, what they do is they are they heal an ally within 8 meters, but they go up to um, 20 meters away. Uh, once you activate that synergy, you restore max uh, magicka or stamina, uh, whichever is higher. So it's, it's a really good high, it's a really good heal. Um, a lot of healers are using energy orbs, and I highly recommend using them as well if you ever want to get into healing. Um, the other one that uh, would be good as well for a synergy would be the totem, and, and that's from the Bone Tyrant. Oh, and the energy orbs come from Undaunted. Uh, but the Bone Tyrant, um, the totem, it's the uh, fourth one down. What this one does is it um, lays down a totem, and um, it gives you minor protection for about 9.5 seconds. It also fears the enemies inside. Like, and the way they did fear was fear is just more of ice, uh, like he uh, immobilize. So you can break free from it, but you know, it'll keep them in place. It won't, it won't fear you away. Uh, also, you can activate the synergy called pure agony and causing, you know, X amount of magic damage over five seconds and then applying minor vulnerability to them for the duration, which would be five seconds. So you have three different ways to activate a synergy from a necro. So I think possibly maybe a necro healer um, could be viable, but then again, you lose out of either possibly minor toughness, uh, possibly minor savagery, so, I mean, it's kind of, you know, what do you want to lose to have a Necro as a support class? What buff do you want to lose? So, that's that's what I'm thinking, and that's that's my train of thought on that. Now, if you're just, uh, you know, somebody who gets on the game and just, it's like, man, I really can't wait for a Necro tank, and I'm going to play it, and that's going to be the class I main. I say go for it, dude, uh, or do that, you know, because... Fuck it, man. Like, play. This game is all about what you want to play and how you want to play it. And that's what's great about ESO is that any class can be a tank, any class can be a healer, and any class can be a magic or stamina DPS. What you got to keep in mind is how effective that is in that said role. And I think of more of a, um, on a, um, what's it called, a sweaty type of best in slot all the time type of thing. I think that necro, tank, necro tanks are fun. I've been playing it. I actually played it here. Uh, this is me testing it out um, on the Veteran Sunspire. It was super fun. I was able to get my ultimate super, super fast at trash pulls for dungeons and trials. If you're just fabbing around with it, you're going to have a blast. You're going to be popping Warhorns so fast. And I wasn't even running Dragon or anything like that. I was running the new set, the Perfected uh, YOLO set. That anytime you taunt, you gain, um, everyone gains a minor courage. And then I was using the other one. Um, what was I using on the other one? I think I was using Torox. Or no, yeah, I was using Torox on here, I think. I don't even remember. But I was using that set and something else. It was pretty It was pretty fun. I really enjoy Necro tanking. I just don't see it being super viable for sweaty, hardcore raiders. Um but I, I do see it viable for just completing content. If you want to complete content, yeah. It's going to be a challenge because Green's Dragon Blood is the best heal in the game. It's the best self heal in the game. Jesus. Um, I just don't. Uh, I just I just see like a lot of people might have a little bit of issues with it starting out. It's kind of, kind of like the heals. You have to heal yourself. Um, kind of like the Warden heals. See, on, on, on my front bar, I have three heals, and then on my back bar, I have an actual, uh, another hot. All these are hots, so, by the way, and, but yeah, uh, I just, I just don't really see uh, necro tanking uh, being that, 
being that viable for for speed running and hardcore sweaty best in slot type of raid guilds. Um, now, don't let that discourage you from from making one and tearing shit up, dude. Uh, if you're in that hardcore or sweaty so guild, dude, nice I mean, and, and they yeah, won't yeah, let you use it, just, fuck it, dude. Join another guild and play with it all you want. Uh, but, yeah, that's just my thought on it. That's me after testing it out a little bit and kind of messing with it. Uh, at the moment, we just don't see it being uh, that viable uh, as a uh, sweaty guild tank. You, you just lose you just lose too much for having it as a main as a main tank off tank well thank you guys for hanging out and uh watching the video hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it and if you guys want to talk about it in stream or here in the comment section go ahead and do so and we'll we'll kind of chat about it other than that you guys have a great day and a great weekend uh that's coming up i know it's wednesday for most of us thursday for a few of us uh, so hopefully you guys uh, have a good start on the next weekend coming up. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.